Would you object to doing any standardized field sobriety tests? Yes. You would? Yes. You know that'd be a refusal, right? Yeah. Alright, ma'am. Do me a favor. Step out of the vehicle for me. Put the phone down. Why would you find out? Can I, I at least have my hands in my pockets? It's cold. No, ma'am. Because it's crazy I, need to, I need to assess your ability to maintain balance. It's and crazy. With, it, with, with your cold. pockets and your hands. Cops are known to be the saviors in bad situations. But what happens when these cops make huge mistakes that leads to them destroying their careers? Here are different cases of when female cops destroyed their careers, starting with Courtney and Christy. On April 7, 2018, two female Georgia police officers, Courtney Brown and Christy Wilson, faced a career-ending scandal when body camera footage revealed them using a coin flip app to decide whether to arrest or ticket a woman during a routine traffic stop. Um, this is Lexus Nexus. I'm trying to look it up. I don't have it printed off. Give me one second. I'll be right with you. Go for it. going like almost 90 down 92. Oh, really? She flew past me. I had to get up to 90 to catch her. Wow. My CAD's not working. Is yours? Uh, Would you, you, I checked. Can you see if, um, can you check the tag too? My, I'm going to have to restart this and see what the deal is. Yeah. I'm on yeah, three. Apple one. Apple one. I'm back to 2005 Mercury Stable to a child win at Lawrenceville. Valid negative 10. I'm going to restart my computer. All over turns to Sarah Webb, Class C, valid, negative 10. Copy, thank you. The officers, caught laughing during the process, charged Sarah Webb with reckless driving based on the coin toss. Despite the coin landing on tails, indicating a release, Wilson introduces a police code for arrest, leading to more laughter. The officers ultimately charge Webb with reckless driving and going too fast for conditions, proceeding to handcuff and detain her. You do reckless, um, and then speeding. And you're just gonna have to mark the pace one instead of the... I mean, either way, the speed limit here is what, 45? Yeah. 45. She was going way... I mean... I haven't done one like speeding like that, yeah. so that's so why I'm do, a little bit you're unsure. Do the patrol vehicle spot, no, and then go it's gonna ask you for moving or not moving, and you're gonna do that. Can you help me do these dang tickets? My CAD won't even log me in. Sorry. All right, I'm gonna go. Yeah, that's not okay. Yeah. Hi right, ma'am, do me a favor, step out of the vehicle for me. Put yeah, the phone down. Why would put you phone down. Step out of the vehicle. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Because ma'am, you're driving entirely too fast for conditions. You put a lot of people's lives in jeopardy, okay? Double locking these, so they don't tighten on you. Do me a favor and step in front of my vehicle ma'am. Step in front of my patrol vehicle. Do you have anything? Do you have anything? Do you have anything in your pockets of? Do you have anything on you to poke, stick, or stab me? Any drugs, paraphernalia, anything like that? Okay. You have a bond. Return to the side for me. Here, move on, Burkett. I'm just gonna shake this out, okay? Alright. Do me a favor, step over here. To my patrol vehicle. <laughs> Have a seat for me. We're gonna buckle you in, okay? RDR three nine zero R. Alpha one one in custody. Alpha one, can you please send me eighty five?
The incident led to an internal investigation by Police Chief Rusty Grant, placing the officers on leave. I don't know if you're going to get too hot. You can take your phone with you. Now your makeup bags and all that. Is it okay to leave those in the car? Yeah. The charges against Webb were dropped, highlighting the arbitrary nature of the decision. I could notarize my own stuff, I would. <laughs> well, I just went up to bent grass looking for you because it says 92 in bent grass and you're at the post office. Alright. Okay. Love bent grass. Go for it. scandal not only damaged the officers' reputations, but also raised serious concerns about the department's decision-making integrity. Although this was quite intriguing, wait until you see what Myers did. On February 5, 2020, at around 19 hours, Patrolman Rankin responded to a motor vehicle accident at the back parking lot of Number One Lounge. pulls in while I'm about to back out. And his front passenger light gets shattered because he pulls into me as I'm backing out. And he's going to be like, oh, well, she backed into me. Well, no, he pulled in. And I'm not trying to have my insurance because I know how that goes. Like, if you're in reverse, you know. Yeah, so he's in the bar right now. No, he was right here. Okay. He's just a black guy right here. Okay. So you were backing up and he was pulling in? Well, no, I was about to back out and he pulls in to the driveway. This guy? Yeah. How you doing? Great. Well, what's going on? So anyway, I'm leaving the barbershop. Okay. Right? I'm pulling out. I'm coming down, so I'm going to the car a little bit. Just up on the back. Somebody in there. We're talking to Somebody in there. Yeah, we can go over here so we're not getting rained on. What was your vehicle? 
female driver, Amanda Myers, was uncooperative and appeared intoxicated. Myers claimed she was backing up when Stanley McKee struck her vehicle. Because you're backing up. Um, but yeah, but when somebody's fucking pulling in, then like, that's the only thing. That's minor damage, so... This Well, I'm just gonna. Was, so was he coming? So he was he coming was this way. He was coming in. So I'm just confused how that light got shattered. Yeah. Exactly. Like. Okay. Do you have your driver's license on you? Yeah. Okay. So what happened? Oh man, it is not warm outside. Uh, <laughs> I said it is not no, warm no. outside. So okay. I know you told him, but I'm just trying to get it straight. You were backing up, you said? I was parked like this. Where she is. Where she is, okay. Like, so I, I come up to the barbershop. Uh huh. That's my car. The right lady, I'm backing up. The car coming down here. So I stop so that car can come. So I can keep going. I don't wish she was. She just kept coming. And somebody said, stop. Okay, so you were you were backing up this way? No. Yeah, back. So you're back. Okay, got it. I'm about here. Right. I'm about right here. Car comes so I'm letting that car come back. Because I can't make my turn because she's not Got it. And she was moving. Because she had come out the bar and somebody said stop. And she just kept on coming. Okay, so she was backing up as you were still parking right here. No. Right. Okay, right. so she was coming out of a spot too. No, you... I think she wasn't up here because it was a it was a red pickup truck up here. All that was, I think she was over here on the side because all this was full at the time. Okay. she had when she came out. Well, I won't say that she she was talking to some guy in this car. You know, after she got out of the car, so and then when she got out, she said, "Well, I'm not going to go out. So I'm going to so she said, "I just give me fifty dollars." I said the light cost more than fifty dollars. And then from that, then she, you know, started getting saying I'm not doing I'm like, hold on, we ain't we ain't even about to go there. Yeah. I said, uh, I said, I tell you what, why don't we just exchange numbers? Then she was talking with the guy, she was talking to him, and I can actually say what they were saying. But, you know, I can tell she had a couple of drinks because she was trying to get sassy. And she said, he was coming in. I said, I don't know. I was coming in. I said, I'm going to come in. Stanley stated he had stopped before entering Westlake Ave, but Myers backed into his vehicle. He suggested exchanging information, but Myers became uncooperative, prompting him to call the police. So, that's also what I'm getting at. Okay? Would you want to take the test? All right, step up. Sure. Anything illegal on you? No. Okay, turn around. So for your feet. Like, 
slide over this way. Just slide over this way. Come on. In there, but you do know what comes with a refusal, correct? Yes. Do you, and I know that. Do you maybe you want to rethink that decision? No, I don't. Okay, well, hands are kind of tied then. We're gonna sit you in here, okay? Have a seat. So I asked her if she wanted to take any standardized field sobriety tests. She's refusing. She told me she's been drinking, but uh, she stopped after 4:30, roughly. I told her I said, you know what a refusal means, right? I mean, all you have to do is just. You know, you know what the penalties go with a refusal, right? So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't call it over, but yeah, I called and she is commissioned at Kelly's. Myers, displaying signs of intoxication, was arrested for operating a vehicle while intoxicated. BAC test refusal, WWU or prior, and physical control. What's your name? Rankin. Huh? Rankin. Patrolman what? Rankin. Rankin. Yes. Seven years on. Parma. Okay. Yep. Four here and three within the city of Cleveland. Okay. So this isn't my first day. Alright, good. Did you give Sorry, him you know, SFSCs? No Sorry? Did you offer no, him SFSCs? 9378. That he told you. Okay. Myers pleaded not guilty and sought indigent status. The court appointed attorney Joseph O'Malley, previously disbarred in 2013, but reinstated in 2016. Myers was found not guilty of OV and BAC refusal W prior, but guilty of resonable control on 19 March 2020. The impact on her job remains unclear, pending records and information from Kelly's Island Police. If you thought this was destructive, wait until you see how this legislator destroyed herself. On February 13, 2022, Georgian Louie, 44, a state legislator and politician from New Mexico, was pulled over for speeding. The officer detected alcohol bubbling from her car as well as from her breath. Okay, probably 
Scott. Lewis, can you turn around, please? Yes. All right. Let me ask you a couple of things. Uh, I need to make sure that you don't have anything inside your mouth. Can you please open your mouth? Do you have anything inside your mouth no. that doesn't belong in there? Okay, very well. Can you call my 20 minute deck, please? Ms. Lewis, I'm going to read you something very important, okay? I'll tell you what, come over to the car and we'll read it while you're sitting inside the car so it's uh, the car? a little warmer. Yes. Do you have anything in your pockets I need to know about? No. Needles, knives, anything no. like that? Nothing. Okay, and I didn't see any pockets on the, on the pants that she has. She has I don't a, have anything. She has a blouse. Do you have anything the, in your bra? Nope. inside the car. Okay, Ms. Lewis. So, uh, pay attention because I'm going to read to you something very important. Can you uh, lock my car, please? Okay. I'm sorry? Can you lock my car, please? Yes. Uh, we'll take care of your feet. I, I'll explain that. Hold on. Let me, let me get back to you. She complied at first, but when the officers requested her to remove her spectacles so they could administer an alcohol test, she became resistant. The officer remained composed and requested Louis to complete a walking test. Okay, so eventually we'll get back to the insurance. Okay. Um, Sorry. Could you step out of the vehicle, please? No problem. We'll we'll get back to that. Okay. Do you have like a jacket or something? It's, it's you you only have that that blouse and it's a little a little windy out here. I always do this before I drop my car. I'm sorry. I always do this before I drop my phone. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and close your door. We're here in the middle of the roadway, yeah. so come over here in between the two cars where it's a bit safer. Okay, all right, come over here, man. All right, so let me explain to you the, the, the reason for the stop so you understand, okay? I was uh, speeding. Yes, you were speeding. Uh, you were doing 60 on St. Francis, the limit is 45. You know, uh, when you crossed uh, San Mateo Street, mm -hmm. the intersection with uh, San Mateo, you were doing 62. So I had to make a U-turn and really nail the gas to catch up with you because okay. you were moving. And even here in Seringo, I didn't measure the speed, but it appeared the limit here is 25. Okay. And here in Seringo, you were also speeding. Okay. I couldn't measure the speed, but based on my training and experience, I could tell that you were traveling faster than 25. And uh, the reason for that is you mentioned that you just wanted to get home. Yes. Okay. All right. So again, out here, the wind is blowing from that direction. Mm -hmm. Even I'm, I'm speaking with you, I can smell the alcoholic beverages from your breath. Okay. Okay. So all together, how many drinks did you have all together? Well, I had like three, but I also had food. Okay. All right. So I'm going to turn off this bright flashing light. Okay. And then we'll initiate the, the assessment. Okay. However, she began to lose her temper and began complaining that she was frigid, sleep deprived, exhausted, and had been working all day. You turn around and face me. Okay, so behind me there are no flashing lights or anything like that. Everything right. looks pretty, pretty dark, right? Right. Okay, so can you please remove your glasses? Why? Because I would like to check your eyes. One of the standard sobriety tests is a, an eye test. I but like I to, see better with my glasses. I, I understand, man, but for the purpose. Okay, let me ask you something. At, at that distance, can you see the tip of my pen? Yes. Okay, that's all. That's all we need. So can you please remove your glasses? But I see better with my glasses. I, I understand, ma'am. And it, it, it's just that, that for the purposes of the test, uh, it's better if you remove the glasses. Okay? I would like to make a fair assessment of your ability to drive, okay? But if without my glasses, I, I see better at night I, when I drive with my okay, glasses. Okay. This is the only reason that I wear my glasses is because yes. I drive better me, at night with okay, my glasses. Let me explain this to you. 
do you, you you you're going I'm asking you to remove your glasses only for the purposes of the test. The test is going to last approximately 45 seconds, then you'll be able to put your glasses back on. But no, I it's see... Not it's not a vision test? It's not a vision test. I see better with my glasses. I, I know. I, 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 and, and this is not a test of your vision, and you don't have to have uh, a 2020 vision just to look at the tip of my pen, and you tell me you can see it from, from this distance, approximately 12 to, 12 to 15 inches. Okay? Do me a favor, man. Cooperate with me. Okay? I, I like to, I like to make I like I to make a, with my glasses at I, night. I like to make like, a fair it's assessment. Not, it's not like uh, like I'm not listen, like the song. Listen, I, I like to make a fair assessment, night. and and uh, the removal of the glasses is is it's important for this I, test. I I I see better with my glasses on. What's your name, man? Georgine. Georgine. Okay. okay. This is not a vision test. It's right. not. It's not. He's not going to ask you to read anything. He's not going to ask you to. See, but well, I this prefer is, listen, to wear my glasses. Listen. He has to look at your eyes. So you need to remove your glasses so he can look at your eyes. It's part of the it, test. It, it, it's, it's part and then of, as soon as yeah. that one test is over, you put your glasses back on. Take but your I, glasses off. I see better with my glasses. It's not about seeing. He needs to look at you. You don't have to see anything. He just needs to look at your eyes. It's not about you seeing anything else. Take your glasses off. It's part of the test. I don't feel comfortable taking on my glasses. Following her arrest, Louis was brought to the station and given a breathalyzer test, the result of which was 0 0.17, and was later charged with DUI. So, for what I'd like you to do now, and the ground here is flat the and, line? and... Hold, hold, hold the map. Don't, don't, don't do anything yet. Just listen to my instructions first, okay? okay? The ground here is flat, uh, smooth, non-slippery, and anything like that, right? Right. And you have uh, flat so shoes... Crazy cold. ...with yeah. no heels, okay? Right. All right. So, come over here, go back there, stand right there. I want you to put the left foot on that line. I want you to put the right foot in front of the left, touching heel to toe, just like oh, this. Heel to toe. Okay? I, I didn't tell you to walk yet, man. Just listen to my instructions first. Okay? This is a structure test. But it's test. cold. I know. You I understand, know. officer, it's yeah. crazy cold. Yes. I want to get home. I understand that, I've been working yes. all day long. Yes, ma'am. So, I've been working all day long. Okay. I've been working all day long, I and I'm that. crazy tired. I understand that, and, and listen to me. The, the, listen to my instructions, follow the test, okay. and the quicker we do this, left, right in front of the left, touching heel to toe, Head. take your hands off your pockets. I'm cold. Yes, ma'am, but you, I need you to take your hands off your pockets and place your hands by your sides. That's, a part, that's part of the test. Okay? I'm crazy cold. I know, I know, but... If you take your hands, what I need you to do, I need you to take your hands off your pockets, place them by your side, and that's that's part of the test. Okay? It's 36 this, degrees. Yes. I know it's, it's 36, 36 I know. degrees out here. I understand that. You know that. it's 36 degrees out here. I understand that, and I'm trying to expedite this uh, Sir, as, in a manner that you understand. 36 degrees. <sighs> Ms. Lewis, co cooperate with me, please. I'm trying to cooperate okay. with you, but it's crazy okay, cold. Okay, go ahead and place the right foot in front of I, the left. I, I did the whole okay. eye thing. Okay. I'm totally cool. Okay. Like, uh, I'm trying to cooperate yes. with you. It's okay. 36 Just, degrees yes. outside. Okay, cool. I am freezing. Yes. You yes. have me outside I, of my that's, car. That's why I told you to put on the jacket. It's a bit windy out here. Right in front of the left. Hands out of your side. Hands out of your pockets on your sides, please. Can I, I at least I, have my hands in my pockets? It's cold. No, ma'am. Because it's crazy I, need to, cold. I need to assess your ability to maintain balance. It's crazy and with, your, with, with your cold. pockets and your with your hands in your pockets, it's going to be difficult to do that. Okay, I'd like to make look a fair at, assessment. Look at my legs are shaking. I, I it's thirty six degrees outside. I know. I'm cold. Can you